My name's Larry and I'm from London. Yeah. <laughs> Larry, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm an accountant and trader. I've got an economics degree, so you can say I'm good with money. Will you raise the roof for our lovely picker? Will you put your hands together for Dvorska from Kent? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Sit yourself down, Dvorska. Wait till I tell him. Oh, my Lord, lads. <laughs> I'm telling you, what's behind this wall is too hot to handle, believe you me. <laughs> you look sensational. You look like you should be in Las Vegas doing a lounge act, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> and your nickname is Diva. Diva, yes. Is it? Because... Are you a diva? Well... <sighs> you look like one. <laughs> and I mean that as a compliment. Thank you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you picky with men? I am very, very picky with men, <laughs> personality-wise. I'm very out there, so obviously I need a guy that can Handle match you. my personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be fun, isn't it, eh? <laughs> I can see fireworks tonight, kid. <laughs> Are you ready to meet your blind date? Yeah. Well, you chose Larry the Accountant. Larry, come on in, please. <laughs> Larry, can I get my medal? Right, what do you think? Yeah, she's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and she's more than nice, nice. look. She's beautiful, beautiful. And what do you think of Larry? He's, he's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit hot, you know, I'm getting a bit... <laughs> I might have to take my shirt off soon. How is it? Go on, then. I usually go for guys with muscles, six-pack and a hard body. OK, then. Um, when Larry took off his top, I thought, what a disaster. His body looks so soft. That's it. When we were playing bat and ball, you know, I was batting the ball towards her and she was just standing there. I'm not going to get that. Playing bat and ball on a first date is just not my idea of fun. I'm getting actual sickness right now. On the peddler, I wanted to show her how much of a gentleman I am. My legs are tired. So I ended up doing most of the peddling. Mm. So actually, I never asked you, how old are you? I'm 23. You're 23? Yeah. A big turning point during the date was um, the age gap. When Larry told me he was 23, I thought, that's it, it's a wrap. Realised that, you know, Dvorska's not really the girl for me. I was hoping for an Idris Elba, Denzel Washington type, and then I got... Larry. <laughs> I was looking forward to it, yeah. but then he wants to show up on a date with a I love Iron Upper bag. The bag looked nice, so I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know why taking it so seriously, it's yeah. just the bag, you know. Because you flew, didn't you? <laughs> 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 Larry, 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 Larry. I, I feel like Jerry Springer here. Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, do you know, the thing is, yeah, I was testing Larry the whole time. I was like, let me tell him to do this, just to see if he's gonna do it. And you were being a pushover. The problem with the, let, let me just break it down with her. The problem with Diva is that um, if you don't let her or Devushka, let me say Devushka. Let's hear it. What's the problem with me? The, 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 the thing is, yeah, if you don't let her have her way, you know, she has a moan, she has a strop. Kicks off. You know, she kicks off. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So to avoid all that, I just said, you know what? I'll let you have it. Yeah. I'll let you do what you want to do, do you know what I mean? So that's well, what I was trying to... Yeah, but you have to be, you have to have a bit of a backbone. You have to not let me get away with stuff. And I might have actually have fancied you more if you had done that. No, no, truth. but the thing is, I feel like you kind of overdo it to some, sometimes. Like, you kind no, of, you push it too so. much. I think I was so actually really it's, nice with you, darling. It's, it's, but... it's a bit... <laughs> I was really well, I really was. Well. I feel like sometimes you can have, like, unrealistic expectations. I'm really yeah, you can it's not unrealistic to yes, go no, to the no, beach listen, and just no. sunbathe, right? Oh, OK, well, well, I listen. think you should keep the house and you keep the kids <laughs> and we'll split the money between you. <laughs> Do you think this gets in your way when you're looking for love? Do you think you scare the men off? No, I just think that, basically, the correct man for me is someone who's just as ballsy as I am, someone who can put me in my place, and this doesn't happen, you know? Well, keep me I, in these I, soft I, guys. No, you can't. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you like, cannot. How, how long have you been single for, first of all? Let's, let's, just, let's just say that. Let's just say that. 
Can no, I no, just you, ask you... a daft question? Will you be seeing each other again? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm great. <laughs> Laddie, it's lovely to see you again. You're no stranger to this show, are you? No, That's you were on the last series. And um, how would you describe your experience? Well, I was with a woman called Dvorska, and um, <laughs> she wasn't the best person to be around. She wasn't that pleasant. Um, she was a bit selfish. So, yeah, it just wasn't a great experience, really. Pain and last each other's Did that experience change your approach to dating? Yeah, it definitely has. It's made me a lot more assertive. Like, if a woman is acting up or giving me any kind of, you know, difficult behaviour, I just call her out on it and just say, I can't tolerate that. Like, I'll just stand up and say, no, I don't know. OK. <laughs> Will you please give it up for the three lads? Good luck, lads, to Nigeria. Oh, Larry, well, you see, on blind dates, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And the last series, for one person, it definitely didn't. But Cupid and I, well, we never give up <laughs> on anybody. So, will you please welcome back Dvorska. <laughs> It's so good to see you. Sit yourself down. Good to be back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the man for you this time around? Who are you going to pick? Ooh, um, I'll go for number one. Number one? <laughs> OK, then. <laughs> right, then. <laughs> so that means you turn down number three. Larry from London. Come on in, Larry. I recognise that one. Right? Yes. <laughs> Do you reckon you've had a lucky escape? Very. <laughs> Do you reckon you've had a lucky escape? Definitely. <laughs> Larry, it's lovely seeing you yeah, again. You Take it easy, Thank Ken. You, yeah. Off care. you go. Bye. Oh, poor old Larry. <laughs> Bryce, this is the big moment. Are you ready for this, Nam? Are you? Brace yourself, OK? Deep breath. Because you chose Wes from Manchester. Come on in, Wes, please. Wall back. Let's go. Oh, oh come on. Oh, stop. <laughs> what do you think about this lovely lady? Well, I think she'll be a challenge, but I like a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to know where you're going on your date? I'll yes. reveal the gold number. <laughs> Who's going to pick? Normally, <laughs> I'd let the lady choose, but I think I'm going to do this one. Lisa. <laughs> I'm just joking. It oh. be a nice destination. Open up and have a look where you're going. <laughs> Morocco. When the spoon went back, I just laughed out loud. <laughs> I thought it was a joke at <laughs> first. So I was like, okay, I was looking for the, the, the other guy. I was expecting someone at least be tall, much darker. I was a bit shocked. The type of girl I normally go for is short, blonde, nice smile, and a great sense of humor. But clearly, I never got that. The palm reader spoke Arabic only. I didn't understand a word of what he was saying. I made everything up. <laughs> I'm going to end up settling down with not the guy I was expecting. <laughs> That's me, catching I'm in here. <laughs> On day two of the date, we decided to go camel riding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Do you mind not screaming? Don't tell me not to scream, I can't help it. How are you feeling? I feel like I've got something huge between my legs, but that's bad. It's been a while. Do you have to? You can't help it. No, honestly, try and help me. I was quite scared and nervous. The best thing for me to do is just try and make her laugh. The view's nice, but I'm sat behind you, what do you expect? Oh, my God. He was just firing jokes left, right and centre. Now it's getting hot now. Well, I'm not but talking no, clothes no, no, off. No, 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 listen, listen. <laughs> Don't, don't do the jokes. You can be serious for, like, five minutes. Maybe she got the hump. Oh, God. Oh, 
feel like I've done ten rounds of Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost half of my underwear. Getting to know you, um, talking to you, you're actually really sweet. Um, <laughs> she's very honest. Sometimes brutally honest, but I'd rather have that than lying. I think we'll definitely keep in touch. Yeah, definitely. You know. I think we'll drink to that. Yes, um, we'll definitely have it. And if you do good. come to Newcastle and visit, I will definitely show you around. And to new, good, new friends. friends. Cheers. And thank you. Yeah. I had fun on yeah. the date. Yeah. I had this feeling all along that she didn't really find me attractive, but all, my goal was... No, no, genuinely, and it didn't bother me. The goal was to have a good time and see if we can get on and just enjoy it, and that's what I did, you know? And I had a lot of jokes and stuff, but that's me, and at the end of the day, I ain't gonna change for anybody. Yeah. Oh, good <laughs>